careful, gentle. How you doing today? Welcome back to the Belsif Show, eh? Today I'm gonna try to put some reversal lights on the old Silverado. So I can see, cause you know how that cocked over that camera is, boys. Freaking right you do. But, on a good note, I have a real good fan, and you know who you are, that dropped me off a camera at work he did. So we're gonna have to give that one a wing ding here sometime soon. Thanks again for the freaking camera, bud. You're awesome, eh? Love you, bud. Freaking right I do. But anyways, I got these lights, and they're pretty freaking decent. The, the only thing I can see with them right now is, when I took them out of the box, this is plastic. Okay, it seems a little loose, but hopefully they uh, keep sealed up. And I'm going to put a little bit of seal around the wire too, because the wire looks like it might be a little loose. But I got these sent to me here from a good old KND sent these to me, they did, to give them a little shot. So they're the perfect size for the old Silverado for backup lights they are. Friggin' right they are. But if you want yourself a pair of these, the link's below, boys. Friggin' right it is. Make sure dirty old Bills have sent you. Why wouldn't you? She sent them out to me. They're only about $21.99 with free shipping, boys, for two. So you can't friggin' go wrong with that. So we're gonna give them a wing and we're gonna try them. Why wouldn't we? So thanks a lot for sending them to me. And we'll get them hooked up here in a moment, we will. Well, we'll get them put on. But I wanna see how bright they are. So let's get ourselves a little bit of a power supply and see what kind of juice we got coming out of them. I'm going to have to go back to the trusty old battery charger here. Oh, it's all cocked over because the cocking thing is all cocked into the dingle nut balls. Freak sakes. There's no fast way, boys. Let's just try, uh, we'll use, uh, we'll put 11 volts to them with the old Chen Ace battery wheel wheel. Hey, that'll work, boys. Pretty right, well. Let's see if we can't get this in and you can see at the same time. Can you see down here? Probably not, but hey, it is what it is. Boys, look how bright they are. Frig for $21.99? They're freaking decent. So we'll get them hooked up and we'll see how they really work. But this is all made of aluminum or some kind of white metal. So that's pretty solid. But like I said, I'm a little concerned about waterproofness of these things I am, but only time will tell. Comes with the brackets, hey? Eh? Little brackets to mount them on. Stuff like that. Decent, those are decent. I was gonna put them on the golf cart. Leave a comment below. I was gonna put them on the golf cart. But I already got some on the golf cart and I really need backup lights in the, in the Silverado for when I'm hooking up the trailer at night and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna do that, I am. So we'll get over there, we'll get a drill bit out and we'll get drilling, boys. So these ones here are called, well, you'll see it in the description below, but they're called LED work light, boys. And guess where they come from? Decent. I love these companies that send me stuff like this. It's nice of them, it is. Hopefully I can sell a few for you. Being the price they're at, I'm sure they'll move pretty quick, they will, because they're pretty cheap and they're pretty friggin' bright. Let's get right to her. Boys, girls, peoples. My good step bit, hey? I love this step bit, boys. It's one of the best friggin' drill bits I've ever had. The old step -arooski. Now I need my drill arooski, wherever the hell I did with it. First thing we should do is measure over and see how far we need this bracket to be. So, just so you know, boys, six inches by an inch and three quarters, boys, hey? So they're small, they are. So if we go over three inches, we're good to go. So we'll get down there, we'll take a bolt with us, and I'll get you set up, I will. All right, boys. We'll have you mounted on a gas can, I do, so hopefully it don't blow any sparks here. Because if I do, we're all going up, we are. Here, and that sun's right in my friggin' eyeballs. So if I go over three inches, it's gonna be right there. I'll clean the bumper where I need to go. So we'll get this in here, and we'll give her, boys. <laughs> Oh God, I love that step bit. That thing just works amazing. There we go, there's one. So now we'll go on the other side and we'll do the same thing. Oh, I'm getting too old for this shit, boys. Three inches, which is right there, right in the clean spot. Freaking right it is. <laughs> See that kick? That's fucking profesh right there. Decent. Go to give me entire time to get yourself one of them bits because they're freaking cat's ass they are. Holes are done. So now we just need the brackets, boys. So the brackets are pretty simple, they are. Hopefully they go in there all right, but they might not. It looks kind of cocked over, it does. But we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna go up, always go up, hey? Okay. Now the nice thing about this I'm seeing right now is this bracket has got a sleeve on each side that holds the nut from turning. So you can just tighten it on the one side, so that's kind of nice. So next thing you gotta do, by the looks of it, is you gotta put the nuts in the back of the light like so, and you gotta try to get that thing started so there we go we got a socket but i'm noticing right now the screw's so short that if you put it in the socket it falls right down the side so i'm just going to put the extra nut in there and then i'm going to put the nut the socket that way it holds it up eh? 
Oh God, how many times are gonna swear doing this? So we'll put this one in here like that. We'll twist our heads around this way. We'll put that in like that and we'll see if we can't get her started. So I can tell you right now, that's gonna be a bitch. Are you watching this? Ow, my arm. Oh, my leg. Ow, my knee. What the hell? Let's try this again. Maybe I'm not holding my tongue right. That's what I'm thinking might be happening. Let's try this again. Oh, oh for God's sakes. You know what I'm thinking? Let's try taking this bracket off and put the light on first. We'll leave the bolt in and we'll try putting the bracket on first because maybe that makes more sense, I think. Hey, okay. Man, oh man, tiny little fingers. Come on, girl, get in there. I'm getting irritated. We'll get her, don't worry. I don't quit. So we'll go this way and see if we can't get some gravity, get it started. We got her. So there's one. And we'll put the other nut in the hole. Holy. So right now looking at this thing, the bracket's a little wide. So we're gonna have to bend the bracket to make it work. <laughs> so there's my first suggestion to KND right there is uh, make your bracket so it actually fits the light and it make it a lot easier. Cause now I gotta take this and bend it to collapse it because the screws are so small, can't start them. And now the bracket's all cocked over. So let's try it again, see if we can't get it started now that it's kind of cobble cocked together here. Okay, we got it started. Nut fell out, boys. Lost a nut, we did. Like I said, for $21, boys, you can't be picky, eh? There we go, see, we got it started, no big deal. Just take your time and she'll go, she will. So now I need a ratchet. Oh, and we'll get her mounted and then we'll tighten her all up and see how she looks. Get the old ratchet on there. Give her a crank. Wrong size, boys. We got the right size, boys. And the fucking trailer hitches in the way. For frick's sake. Just so you know, the main bolt's a 12 mil. I grabbed the 13. Now we're getting somewhere. Just crank that thing. Decent. Oh, okay. We got her, Jim. Now we can tighten the old Lairuski up. There we go. There you go. Look at that, eh? So there's one mounted. So now we'll find the screws that we dropped and uh, well, the other one. Is this one the same way? It sure is. So give her a little tweaky tweaky. There we go, boys. So she's tight over top of the doodad and whatnot. Doodad and whatnot. I caught that one right off the bat. That one went in real easy, it did. So now that we get that started, and that we forgot to put this in, I ain't taking that goddamn thing apart again. Come on! Nope, cocked over, boys. Make sure you get that goddamn bolt in there first, or you're gonna be cursing and swearing at the thing like I am right now. So we'll just take one side off. Give her the old yank out and get this damn bolt in here. Holy frig, man, I'm gonna have to take both off. Hey, let's start over. I wanna show you how this is done again, eh? So if you just drop the nut in there like that, do this, that, and the other, then you know how it works. There we go, we got her. Hi. Ah. So there you go, you learned something today. Make sure you put that in first. <laughs> Open and wrench, boys. Those are nice little lights. They're not big and bulky looking and look like cocks hanging off the back of the truck. I'm not a big fan of the brackets though. Just need to improve your brackets a little bit. But other than that, they're not too, not too bad. <laughs> Make sure, whatever you do, you don't want to over tighten these things. You don't want to over tighten these things because I think they'll break. So just go gentle, easy, careful with them. What do you expect for the price, boys? Girls, people, can't expect perfect for the old price for Ruski. All right, there we go. So now all I can do is wire them into the old uh, reverse light hose. Now, some people would put relays on these, but they're LEDs, so I don't think we're gonna need a relay today. We can probably just hardwire them in because you don't have a lot of draw, but uh, if they're anything like my interior lights, they don't have enough draw. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. Sean gave me some resistors for them to put in line to give them a little bit of draw. Because as you see when I lift my visors up in the previous video there, the dash lights go off. So that's telling me the interior lights don't have enough draw. Computer saying, no, it is. So we'll get these wired up here with some wire and uh, we'll go from there. So let's get the tail lights out of the truck and whatnot and this and that and the other thing, we'll feed some wire down to them, boys. Okay, boys, so when you're doing this, well, after you get the tail lights out, there's only two screws, the tail lights pop out. If you're not 100% sure, use a test light to figure out which side of the reverse light is power and ground. You want power and you want ground. So you gotta figure out, but green is power, boys, and black is ground, of course. So on this side, somebody's had this light apart before, and you're right in the sun, I know you are, but I apologize. Somebody's had this out before because all the loom is off this one. 
So as you see here, I split the power and the ground. I'm gonna tie some of the awesome wire that Car Fox gave me right here. And I'm gonna solder up, run it down to that light. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side because I like mine separate, I do. But there we go. See, we just put them together like that. And then we'll solder them, tape them up real good because I can't put shrink wrap on them unless I cut them and I don't wanna cut them. And then we'll do the other side the same. Why the hell wouldn't we, right boys? Okay, boys, girls, peoples, I got her wired up to the tail lights. I do fed that down through like that. Okay, so they're both done and they're hanging underneath. Now that I've done that, we can put this tail light back in. We can and uh, go down below, boys. So we'll just push that back in like so, and we'll put the screws back in her like so. Wow, careful. So we'll clean all this crap up, and we'll uh, we'll get down below. We will. So before I get too carried away, we're gonna make sure that this is gonna work. Cause like I said, I took the ground from the light. Now I'm not gonna be able to see it. So you're gonna have to tell me if it works or not, boys. Hey, boy, wouldn't you? Look at that, eh? It comes on with the reverse lights, boys. Look right it does. But look how bright those are. When I back up, I'm gonna blind people I am. Look at right I am. All right, so we'll get up some shrink wrap and tidy this up. So we'll slice this and dice this. Oh, God. On, you piece of shit. Just bought this thing and I already have to use a lighter to get the light. Shrink wrap done. Decent. And that's all there is to it. There's one done, boys. But look at the finished product. She looks decent. Don't mind the rust, boys. She needs an undercoat. And there we go. So let's get the other side done and then I'll be back. All right, boys and girls, well, I'm all done. And uh, they're freaking bright, they are. They work really good. I think I'll be able to see. I feel sorry for the poor bastard behind me, but hey, he's behind me, so. He's past tense now. Freaking right he is. But honest opinion on these lights for $21.99, they're super bright. They could use a little bit more waterproofing. Like I said, don't forget, just caulk around that wire at the back, boys, because it does slide in and out. And you want to make sure you don't get water, especially if you use them for backup lights like me, because the tires throw everything at them. So make sure you give a little dab, a little this and that and the other thing. I used uh, the right stuff I did. Freaking right I did. So that's what I put on the wires. This is a little review video on them lights and I got them hooked up. I finally got my backup lights I wanted. They're well worth the $21.99, I think. I give them a thumbs up, boys. Sure, they're not top of the line, awesome, friggin' perfect, heavy duty lights, but they're $21.99, boys. So make sure you click on that link below and go get yourself a set. That's for two, two, eh? $21.99 for two, boys. So I'll put the link below on this video. You can go over there, click on her and get yourself a pair of them for whatever you want to use them for boys hey they're decent but anyways hopefully everybody had a good day and accomplished something like i did and uh you know what to do for now Dude.